Hey guys, it's me, Tim, I'm just happy to refer it, and today I have a very exciting project that I have been working on for the past few weeks now. Uh, a little backstory is, um, my childhood, uh, pretty much just in a nutshell, uh, you would normally think, you know, toys like G.I. Joe, or, uh, you know, Barbie, or Nerf, or, uh, water guns. No, my childhood was pretty much zombies, and, uh, Basically, the first thing that I was ever exposed to as a kid was Dawn of the Dead, original and the remake in 2014, or 2004 in the 1980 something which, uh, version. Uh, and then Land of the Dead, Diary of the Dead, you know, basically all these movies are made by George Romero. And basically, my whole childhood was just zombies from Left 4 Dead to Dead Island to. So basically, I grew up with zombies as an unusual thing, and I was all pissed with George Romero. I recently found out a long time ago at the time when I was, uh, the time it took from then and now to make it, uh, he's already passed away, but uh, rest in peace to him. And uh, I made a, when I found out he passed away, I wanted to make a one uh, tribute to him because he was pretty much involved in my childhood pretty heavily. Uh, not only did it scar me, but also helped me get into the thing I am now so I can pretty much like kill the floor one and two. Call of Duty Zombies for sure, you know, Left 4 Dead, Left Dead 2, all that stuff, that was part of my childhood. So this gun I made and as a tribute for him. Um, so, hope you guys don't mind that, but I wanted to make this as a special project. And um, this is an Airsoft Thompson, and unfortunately I lost the bulb, so it's just going to be stuck with this piston showing, so whatever. But, um, yeah, this is it, this is, I, I dub it the Romero. Uh, this is basically a Thompson as if it's had its reins through zombie apocalypse, hasn't been had for a while, and has turned into someone, or has the mentality of someone who, for the ingenuity wise, because of now I'm referencing some Dead Island from Dead Rising 2, where you can combine weapons, and, you know, Gears of War and all that, but also has this gun for a while, and it sort of just became their own little survival tool, you know, not to take on Force of the Dead, but just more of just protecting themselves, and I pretty much, uh, Mo uh, weathered the gun in any shape I can. Uh, as you can tell here, the the uh, the cheek rest is made from a actual canteen uh, container you would strap onto a molly belt, but repurposed as a you know makeshift cheek rest with a little plastic bag as makeshift padding, you know filler, and you know a little blood stain because you know you're not going to stay clean throughout the whole zombie apocalypse if you live that long. A makeshift uh, magazine holder. This actually does hold the magazine. There's a mug with that, and it comes out. That's gonna be hard to put back in later. Zip tie, you know, to show that it's makeshift, and little detail of showing the tallies of supposed kills you made with this weapon, whether it be with the chainsaw bayonet or the gun itself. You know, tallies, just and little blood stains here and there for the detail and all that. Not sure if you can see it, but there we go. You know, bandages for makeshift. Uh, Talon grips or just getting grip on the gun. Blood stain here, because you know, weathering effects are done in the plastic and metal. Try to even give it a little bit of a rust effect, considering the metal is now bare in this part. And given the fact it's DIY, I also made the sight a makeshift DIY repairable sight, repaired sight, as if this gun was salvaged. And also gave it the wraps on the front and on the chainsaw handle, which it does work. There we go does work and then a little flashlight here as if someone were to just glue this onto the gun with epoxy or something and uh, yeah and uh, try to give it the gun a look as if the chainsaw has been used but sparingly considering it's meant for utility than actually just going into hordes of zombies and tearing them up so tactical use of this chainsaw and little you know weathering effects here and there and my my favorite part was indeed engraving it as the Romero because this is in honor of George Romero and his zombie flicks and you know and he had, because he was pretty much a big part of my childhood so a little tribute to George Romero awesome awesome oh yeah Call of the Dead oh my gosh him as a boss in Call of the Dead was pretty <laughs> surreal but there we go the Romero a Thompson M1 with the M uh, chainsaw bayonet attached to it and so let me just uh, reattach the uh, makeshift mag holder and 
get to fire this gun because somehow I managed to keep the uh, the gun able to fire airsoft BBs. So maybe one day I can take this out to the field and just get people's reactions. One time I took this gun to a uh, Comic Con and boy oh boy were people there triggered. And by triggered I mean just one of them. Uh, everyone else just had a good laugh out of it. They liked the gun a lot, but too bad it didn't. Clear too well <laughs> with the rules there, but you know rules are rules. So. Go. All right, so let's get to fire this weapon. And even the uh, little drop free magazine and all that. So let's put the fire and see what we can do. Battery's dead, so we gotta go change up. So, that's it. That's the uh, that is the Thompson M1A1 with it and with a chance of bayonet and a little flashlight attached to it, and also has a little glowy sight if you can see here but it's not really that dark but there we go just a little tribute weapon or tribute gun uh for george romero um it is sad to hear that he passed away but we all know he's gonna probably come back one way or another whether there's a zombie or whatever so we're not gonna be too uh, <laughs> uh downplayed by his uh, unfortunate time of passing but there we go this is the romero as so known Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, so there we go, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, this little gun I made as a tribute for him, you guys don't mind, so yeah, but anyway, my name is Tim Man, I'm Tim Man Preferred, so as you guys, be chill.